We have two orphaned walrus that uh, were rescued in near Barrow on the north slope of Alaska and came to the Alaska Sea Life Center in July. And somehow they got separated from their mothers and with walrus they normally spend two years with their mothers. Um, but both of these animals without their mothers are, are in a unique situation where um, we're always cautiously optimistic about their health. Walrus require 24-7 care. Originally we had four people around the clock working with these walrus. Um, right now it's at least two at all times. They're bottle fed every four hours. We are providing them access to a pool um, several times a day so that they can go swimming. They're very social, tactile animals, so um, sometimes the two animals will provide that to each other and sleep, even one on top of the other almost. Uh, sometimes they want to curl up to one of their human caregivers. There are always people around. Um, they don't want to be left alone. It's been amazing. With Midic, we kept running into new or evolving problems for two weeks. It it seemed like every other day there was something new to address and it was getting a little disheartening, especially when he wasn't nursing from a bottle. You know, slowly things started improving and it was just phenomenal when he started nursing on the bottle. I've had a number of occasions to come in and, and just give him a bottle and it, it's a great feeling having them come to you and drink from a bottle and you know it's a very positive experience for, for people taking care of them because they definitely pay attention to you and follow you around and you know seem to enjoy having you around and that's, that's, that's nice. There's a lot of coastline in Alaska where there aren't a lot of people. Um, so these animals were lucky that they were, they were found by those um, residents of Barrow. Otherwise, they would have never been found, and they probably, uh, they probably would have starved because without their mothers, they wouldn't have had a food source. Our staff pretty much knew from day one that they were going to be non-releasable. Um, Pakak, the larger animal, is going to the Indianapolis Zoo, and Midic, the smaller one, is going to the New York Aquarium.